Hey guys, MABQ over here. And this tutorial is going to be a little bit scary. Or it's gonna be just encouraging because you're gonna be learning new things just like pen tool. If you are here for that, then let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Ibiki over here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, if you're here for Photoshop, we're gonna be speaking about pen tool. So let's get started. Now to use pen tool, you might be thinking it is very difficult or you might be thinking that it is too hard to just use normally. But when you know about pen tool, you can use it like a boss. So to select pen tool, you just click P on your keyboard and pen tool is selected and this is what it looks like but we have many different options because it's pen tool that do in Photoshop actually uh, it's only in Photoshop but still though you have many options so the one option you can just uh, look at over here is shape path and uh, pixels you don't use that much so the shape option is for drawing shapes and making different shapes if you want to make a not a circle because no one would want to make a circle you can make curves and from pen tool you can even you can even make lines for making lines you have to check this and you have to check it to not uh, none color and you have to check this with a color we're gonna be going with the red over here so now if you place dots and you can place many as many dots that you want and you click and you click escape to make it a shape a line maybe and you can uh, increase the width of the line you want and you even have these options in uh, your pop line dashes you can even make them round or you get you can get more options and you can uh, align them you can use these corners make it round or dashed or you can even insert presets for your calligraphy if you want to do calligraphy and that kind of stuff you can do it with the pen tool and the main diff basic thing about pen tool is uh, when you want to draw with a pen tool you just click and you can you get this dot over here okay and if you click anywhere else the second time you get another dot which connects the previous dot and it gets a line okay and you can even make uh, curves from this uh, pen tool so this dot is now selected so if I click over here but not just click I click and hold and I drag it out and you see the curve forming and now you can uh, position the curve and you can play with it however you want uh, so if you go closer the moving and if you go closer to the, to the point And if you go closer to the point it decreases the radius of the change and if you go farther away from the point it increases the radius or the curvature or whatever you want to say so after doing that uh, if you want uh, to make another line that is going right over here uh, at the top you have to delay this by holding alt uh, you know otherwise if you did that you know this anchor point it's holding the line over here so you have to delete that and in order to do that you have to just click control uh, sorry alt and uh, click on this dot and now you can just do that and it goes a straight line and you can even add anchor points just like click over there and uh, now you can drag it and you get this anchor points you can use both and this is for the 
other side and that is for this side okay and you can even separate it by just clicking alt and you can uh, move this separately oh sorry you can move this separately or you can move it in sync actually if when you move it once you can move it in sync so you gotta keep in mind when you are playing with the pen tool or using the pen tool for your graphic design or anything you can select any points by just clicking control and selecting it and you can edit it anytime afterwards and the one basic thing of using pen tool with shapes is you can modify your shapes whenever you want and you get a versatile workflow and that's what it's all about in Photoshop so after that we have paths so if you go over there and click the paths you can see that uh, you get a normal line but uh, when you join or you you don't even need to join but if you join it and you have these options over here which has a selection and you can do selections and uh, you can even and you can even do masks you can make masks directly from over here and the other thing when you are using paths is uh, sorry uh, the pen tool is uh, when you are creating these paths you are using this option you can you are creating new paths wherever you are clicking okay so this is a path and that is a path so you have a, a new panel over here which is called uh, paths and there are uh, there is a work path already created which is this one and if you want don't want that you just click and delete it you can also delete it by, from over here you see delete the path work path or and you can even save these paths and uh, it's useful when you are working with multiple photoshop when you are working with multiple photos so that you can create one work path and make another work path name this something you need to and you can get to it afterwards uh, like if you want to select this one again you just click that go there make selection or mask or anything and you can even uh, tweak this a little bit when you need and the other thing with the pen tool is uh, if you want to make full size shapes you just click back on this you, you see when we hover over it it shows uh, the circle if you just click over there it joins and now if you click uh, this thing and you can even do fills it just works like a normal object normal shape so okay so that's it and I hope everyone learned a new thing about pen tool because if you are a beginner you might be afraid of it or you just don't know about the pen tool but believe me if you start using the pen tool you will love it because everyone uses it uh, especially the professionals so it's my suggestion that you use the pen tool very often and it's not like that that you need to use the pen tool every time it's about what you are doing so hit the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends who want to get started in photoshop cinematography photography and subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit that bell icon and I'll see you next time.